Hi, Marvel Maestro here. Welcome back to a third tutorial in Android development where we'll be covering uh, Windows coordinate systems uh, to draw our squares instead of the default uh, coordinate system. Uh, so let's have a look at that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get rid of our index buffer because we're not going to be making use of index buffering uh, in this tutorial. So let's just go do that. And we're just going to follow up by adding another float buffer, another vertex buffer, sorry, as we're going to be drawing two two squares. So just name them vertex buffer one and vertex buffer two. Um, next, we are going to need some integer values to hold our screen width and our screen height to make use of the Windows coordinate system. So let's just implement them. Now we're going to be generating our vertex buffer in a slightly different way. So we don't need uh, a few things. So we don't need like our float array of ver vertices and we don't need our indexing or the generation of our vertex buffer or index buffer. Um, because we're going to, like I said, we're going to be generating in a different way. Uh, we also don't need our function uh, make byte buffer, but we do need to create a new uh, function called make vertex buffer. It's going to be private, so it can only be used by this class, and it's going to be of type float buffer. And it's going to be passed in four values, four integer values: an x, a y, a w, and a h. Um, to start off within this function, we're going to specify the boundaries of our window. So uh, the left is going to be equal to Make sure they're floats. Uh, x divided by this screen, oh, screen width. And that is going to be multiplied by 2.0f. And then we're going to minus 1.0f from that sum. Our top is going to be. Oh, just notice I've put capitals to these, don't need capitals. So our top is going to be equal to the y value divided by the, the screen height multiplied by 2.0f minus 1.0f. For our right, it's going to be equal to our x plus w, so, and that's going to be divided by our screen width And we're going to multiply that by 2.0f and then minus 1.0f. And for our bottom, finally, it's going to be equal to our y value plus our h value divided by our screen height. Times 2.0f minus 1.0f. 
Now for the top and the bottom, because of the way that um, the Android system works and the way that uh, sorry, OpenGL ES works in the fact that as you increase your Y value, you actually go down the screen instead of up the screen. So we're just going to inverse them values so we get the proper numbers. So just do um, the top equals the minus top and bottom equals minus bottom. Next, we're going to um, create a new uh, array of vertices. So let's just go ahead and create them. Uh, so what we want for verte vertex uh, number one out of four, we want we want left value, the top value, and 0 0.0f. For the second one, we want left, bottom, 0.0f. For the third, we want right, top, 0.0f. Got caps there. And for our final vertex, we want right, bottom, and 0.0f. Finally, we just want to re we want to uh, return, but we're going to do so in by calling another function, our previous function that we had, our make float buffer out of that vertex array that we just created. Oh, we need to give it a name. There we go. What we have to do now is adapt or add to uh, two of our functions, uh, the on surface changed function and the on draw frame function. First off, let's start with the uh, on surface changed function. We're just going to set our screen width to the width given and our screen height. So that's height given. We are then going to generate our vertex buffer one and our vertex buffer two. So our vertex buffer one is going to be equal to hold up. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's called vert buffer. Sorry. That's what I'm missing. Um, is going to be equal to uh, make vertex buffer. We're going to give it, um, we're going to pass in 50 by 50 and 200 by 200. So basically, it's going to be a square of. Um, of 200 by 200, so its width and height is going to be 200, um, and it's going to be positioned at um, location 50, 50 on your window. And for the vertex buffer 2, we're going to pass in 0, comma zero three hundred three hundred so it will be positioned right in the corner um but it will be bigger it will be a bigger square uh, yeah okay so that's all that we need to do in our on surface changed function so let's move down to our on draw so here in our on draw frame function, we're quite literally drawing our uh, our squares or our triangles to make up squares. Um, we first need to get rid of uh, draw elements because we're going to be drawing it by arrays. 
um, uh, actually we need to change this to our vert buffer 1 to draw our first square and we're going to do that by like I said drawing by arrays so let's just go ahead and do that we need our GLS 2.0 or GL uh, sorry draw arrays and we're going to pass in uh, GLS 2.0 GL triangle strips and the first is going to be at zero and the count is going to be four and we can copy these three these three lines here so our uniform our vertex attribute and our draw arrays because we're going to be doing the exact same thing for our second one so let's just um, let's indent that um, so for our second uniform 4 F handler that handles our color of our squares um, we're just going to change it so it's not red anymore but in fact it's going to be blue um, and our vertex attribute we're just going to change it from vertex buffer 1 to vertex buffer 2 and that should be that in reviewing the code and actually exporting it onto the Android device I found that you only saw the, the blue square and for a little while I was really contemplating on why why that was maybe it was the fact that the red square was being drawn off screen or something like that um, but in fact it wasn't actually the case um, so what actually needed to be done is the fact of uh, if you switch the two um, buffers around so if you put um, if I just change them now uh, if you put that as vertex buffer 2 and the bottom one as vertex buffer 1 when you actually view it you can actually see that a blue square is in the middle of a red square um, which I had originally intended so uh, it was all just about the um, the drawing of the like getting the uh, the sequence of the drawing so unfortunately the blue square was being drawn over the whole you know the entire it entirety of the red square but it you know just to prove that it does work um, I'll just show you now now that we have learned to draw our squares to our Android device, uh, on the next few tutorials we are going to look at texturing them, so uh, projecting an image onto them. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you next tutorial.